Hey, and welcome to the Den Code Podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking on the BBP. So brain, body, and your pride. Pride talking about your environment and the people you surround yourselves with. So your brain. I want to get into the brain side of things because a lot of people do not understand how it actually works. So there's a lot of diets out there and there's a lot of things going on and your brain is your control center. So you need to eat I fast, but a lot of people need to be eating regularly so fasting is not for everybody i have found this works for me but for a lot of people they need to be eating regularly and have that energy in them so that they can work on just general things from your day to day so if you're needing something make sure that it's something really enriched so you want things that are going to help you out and real carbohydrates so those complex ones we don't want simple sugar so if you can get some fruits in you if you can get those higher carbohydrates through a smoothie type thing, it'll really help you out. I find that it sets up your day proper. I have my smoothies later on in the day, but if a smoothie can help you out, get that energy, get you boosted. You need carbohydrates. Those carbohydrates are gonna be really important just to your fuel and so that you can actually do your day-to-day and your work. I try to load my carbohydrates um, later on just because of the fasting but you need them don't cut them do not cut them a lot of people are cutting them with the keto diet and a lot of these different diets out there you still need those carbs carbs are a huge thing for you protein I would encourage people to have protein and not just smooth like shake stuff try to get some actual food in you so peanuts unsalted do what you can there try to get some chicken breast in you some meat get things in you that are real protein what I mean by real is you're not just drinking it you need something in your body not just always this liquid. I was on a liquid thing where I was drinking lots just of liquids and I wasn't feeling the best. So I've actually recently switched so that I'm still drinking my smoothies, but I'm having more protein through actual eating and it's huge, it's changing my life and I'm feeling great on it. My energy's way up and my brain is actually, I'm functioning on a higher level through this. So I'm very happy with it and it's something that I would encourage. So the brain, we keep on talking. I just have a note here. Stay positive as well. So just in your environment, the positivity can really trump anything. So if you are worrying about the past, this is going to come into the pride part. But you know what? Water the plant for today and tomorrow. Don't worry about the plant that died yesterday because you know what? Those plants from yesterday you can learn a little bit from. But if you spend too much time on them, we're going to be worrying about the negativities and things that we wish we could have done. Focus on today, tomorrow, and setting yourself up for that future and success. I think that positivity is going to trump anything else. The negativity is always going to come in and tell you why you can't do things. And that comes right into that pride. So that brain, when I'm talking about the pride, that environment, surround yourself with great people. When we get into our body, now I'm just making that note. So I'm looking at my book here because the body and the brain, so I'm going to separate. So we're going to do body first. Body, we hit the gym, great. We're doing it seven times a week. We're not getting those breaks. You need breaks. I have been doing a split where five days a week, six days a week, and then every so often, listen to your body, take an extra day. I always take Sundays because of football, but lately I've actually been taking a day here and there if I'm just not feeling it. I need my body to be feeling the best, and I don't want those injuries to rack up. So listen to that body, and if you can really just think about setting your body up for the future, not just tomorrow, but for every day. I think that the body with cardio in your plan, make sure because it's going to pump, that heart's going to pump, 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 and it's going to send blood throughout the body. You're actually going to really, really increase those muscles and your muscles need blood flow. So it's a huge thing to encourage, not just doing the weightlifting, but we need the cardio in there too. It'll change your mindset. And if you pair them together, you will have the best program out there. Consider um, making those plans when you're doing them, or if you need help, you can always contact me. It's what I do, personal training. But make sure that you are looking at it and you're really making reasons why this exercise is in and why I want to plug this in and why cardio is here and why weights are here. Surround yourself, make the best plan for you. There's not just a cookie cutter mold that works for everybody. So make sure that it works for you. Body, body and brain together. Now you can feel way better when you're working out. You can also feel worse if you have that negativity in there, which is going to come into the pride. You're going to see all three of these things jump in, but the brain and your body will actually, you're in, when you go in and you actually keep positive through that brain and you go in and then you have your body working, you can connect these two things and you can have your mental and physical health through the roof. 
right now we are at a time where mental health is at a low and our physical health, a lot of people know that we should be doing things, but people do not know how to change that mental side of things. So I would say, get in there, get your workout, but stay positive, stay off the phone. I see a lot of people on phones all the time in the gym and you know what? It's not your time. It's not meditation time when you're in the gym. If you have your music on, that's what I do, but it's not meditation time if you have your phone on you. You can't get into the right mindset and set yourself up if you're always on your phone in the gym and you're texting your girlfriend, you're texting friends, you're you're actually wrecking your own time. And then when you leave the gym, you're not getting that natural high. Your mental side is not in the gym. And then your physical, you're not getting as much. You're not getting as much out of that gym. So make sure that you can connect these two. These are two huge things and they can change your life. Don't just look at physical, look at physical and mental together and you will change your life. Now on to the last thing, the pride. I like to really encourage this because we are a lion pride and environment is everything. So you surround yourself with great people because if you have your mental and physical, great, but then you have negative people and it's going to draw both of those down. So we need to surround ourselves with successful, great people and be that support staff for each other. Think of it this way. There are days you need the support every day. Every other person in the pride needs that support every day. So we need to be doing this on a day-to-day basis and giving. Give and take, relationships, that's the way it works. And if we want to create the strongest lion pride out there, that's the only way to do it. If you're considering only what you need, you will not set yourself up for success down the road. You will also be take, 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 and you won't get so much fulfillment out of your life. The mental and physical side of things, you will feel way better if you're helping people and that at the end of the day, you know that you have somebody that you can rely on. You have a whole bunch of people in the cookie jar that you can be like, I need this, I need this. And then when they need something, they're like, I need this from you. Can you help me? What should I do in this situation? It is great. You need people that are honest and people that will surround yourselves and change you for the better because there's still things in you. You don't want to change you completely because you're the only one that's you. Just change things for the better always. Always improve on things. And don't think about the past because a lot of people focus way too much on the past. And really, today is today. We should be worried about today and not so much about yesterday. There are things we can learn from that, but when we're connecting our brain, body, and pride, this is the only way to do it, really. And in the gym, I've been seeing it lately a lot that the brain is the thing that people are neglecting the most. We have this caffeine intake that's humongous. Limit your caffeine. I'm on that right now, 12 hours before I go to bed, the caffeine is cut. So if right now I'm not having any more caffeine, it's 1230 here in Edmonton and it's just cut now. There's no more because you know what? I need to make sure that I'm getting that sleep. That's going to be huge for our mental side of things and physical. If I'm bringing it to the gym, we need that and we need the sleep. Sleep is the thing that's neglected the most. You also be more positive. If you can actually get sleep, you won't be as irritable and you'll actually have way better success mentally and physically. If you get up and have a purpose in the morning, that's the other thing that I would really challenge. So if we want the brain, body and pride, we need to challenge ourselves and where there's going to be challenges. I would challenge what today do I want and not say something negative. What do I want to do today? And today, my challenge for myself is today, I want to change as many people's lives as I can in the gym. So I want to, for, to teach people how to eliminate the negatives and not always say what they don't want. What do you want from this training session? I've been challenging people, I was just on the phone, how what we want rather than what we don't want. We want to really challenge and push forward and get what we want out of this life rather than focusing on things that we don't want. If today is the day for you to change everything, it's first step. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be today. Everything's going to be easy. Tomorrow's going to be really nice and it's going to be just beautiful. It's not going to every single day is going to be work. And that's why anything in life that's worth it is worth working for. And I love to connect the brain, body and pride. And this is the way we do it. Surround yourself with great people for when days when your brain is a little less because they can bring you up. You can do the same for them. Now your brain, you're going to focus on that positivity and we are going to focus on my other point of just really focusing on feeding that eating. So I had to look just because we've been talking so much, but you know what? Feed it. Make sure that you're eating enough. Make sure you're getting good nutrients in that body and then we're getting that positivity. That's the brain side. That's the key points from today. Feed positivity. Now our body, we need to make sure we're doing the cardio and the physical and we need to make sure that we're what we're putting in. There's your body again with your brain is the things that are healthy. We want healthy things, not so much 
fake things that are made by fast food companies. Make sure that you're, even if you're in the uh, sup supplement store, that they're healthy. Limit your caffeine. That's the biggest thing. Under 400 milligrams. That's what I'm throwing on here for the body. Now, the last thing, pride, positivity. When you have great days, feed off that to other people. Give it to them so that when, if you're having a tougher day, people are going to feed you that positive energy. I love it and really challenge yourself. And if you want to contact me, please do because we can really set you up. You have a great day, people, and enjoy and really focus on that body, brain, and pride. See you later. Always with you, what cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try.